this is our week eight exercise week eight or week seven um so today what we are going to do is we are going to do uh something about blocks okay so when you go to um, um when you go to the um you know to blackboard and then you will find the files uh you know like you have two files that attach for you one is a war file that is um a document just full of instructions and the other one is uh, of course uh, it is the uh, the AutoCAD file that we will be using for the first part of our our exercise so once you download those things then the first thing like so you have the instruction open so here is the instruction and then the first thing is I want you to open the file that says bed king okay so the first part of the instruction states that like, you know, open the file um, and then it says creating a block. So creating blocks are like important part of um, AutoCAD. Like for instance, you know, uh, if I create a bed, like for instance, it, a nice bed uh, drawing, um, the way you see it here, for instance, and then uh, then you know like why why would somebody else has to really create that same kind of file again and again and again and again you know you know it's time is precious and and then um it saves you time like for instance if i create this block and then uh, this block can be shared like for instance if i had my own company then i would put this um, in a certain folder and then like once i prepared it everyone else like in in the company can use it right so instead of like creating again and again and again and again and again so blocks are bas basically like that's their purpose okay so uh, there are a few things like you can go through the slide and the audio recording blocks one main thing that you need to remember is like every time you create a block then you it has to be created on the default zero layer okay on the zero layer don't create any layer for 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 blocks blocks has to be created on the zero layer why because when you import them to another file what you can do is like you can easily make them adopt a new layer okay but if i create a layer with the block and then when I share you, the, when I share the file with you, what happens is like the file is going to come with the layer that I created. That means like you're going to end up with more layers and then you might not have like a lot of flexibility, like to change the layer of that block. So then probably you don't want to have more layers in your, in, in your drawing area or in your, in your properties and layer property manager space. So easy layers i mean blocks must be created on the zero layer so without further ado let's go ahead and then try to learn the first part of like creating so create like block like blocks as every autocad drawings blocks are created yeah just by drawing from the beginning so for instance you know using lines using fillets um and and so on you know probably a little bit of arc and so on and so forth so the first thing like how you create a block is like you draw it okay so let's assume that this is this is a bed this is this is a king size bed okay that i just just made so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create this as a block okay so then the way you would proceed is like if you follow the steps then it's going to tell you like what to do okay so now what you can do is like there is there is something here like i'm using a mac computer probably you know you, you maximize it something that says block see under here so there is something here like for instance block if you click on it it will start to ask you questions like what you want to grow it and things like that right so the first thing is like you do you not know, to create a block you come in and like initiate the block command or what you can do is you can just simply type block on the on the on the on the command line so 
Then AutoCAD is asking me like, what should be the name of my block? Um, I'm going to use the same name as like the file. It's fine. So I'm going to call this like bed king. And then AutoCAD is asking me like, you know, I need to select my, my, my objects. And then I going to op, you know, use a window to select that. And then, uh, and then I'll press enter to confirm my selection. So then now you need to have a base point. Okay. And then a the base point is like your insertion point. Next time when you insert that block, you want to grab part like location where you want to move it around and so on and so forth. Right. So, you know, that base point is going to act as like a little grip, you know, last time we covered about grips and then there will be a grip formed right there. So since this is a bed, um, usually like I would like to hold it by the corner and move it around or maybe, you know, uh, but always like make sure that you use proper proper kind of um kind of point don't 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 select like a base point just way off of the drawing okay um, because you're going to have a hard time inserting it so um and then units i'm going to use inches um i'm mostly like dealing with like you know, um projectors here in the United States, of course, then therefore like you keep it as inches, inches are the best units. And then you go ahead and then pick a point. Okay, then that's your base point. As I mentioned it like this can be a good base point, right? You know, because it's a bed and, or maybe this can be a, a good point because, you know, mostly beds, you try to put them by the wall okay maybe maybe I'll, i may go with this or i may go with this or you may go with this it's fine you may prefer this one because sometimes you know you would like to rotate the block and so on and so forth but um shouldn't matter uh, as far as like you choose like a very um, important point okay so i'm going to click this point as soon as i click then i'll get back to the dialog box and then units are fine uh, for now, I don't want to uh, open it in in a bl in block editor, and that's okay. And I'm going to select create the block. Okay. So once you create the block, you can see that like you see now the object is acting as one single object. It's no more made of like several lines and so on and so forth. Okay. So and then you, you know. You, this is where your grip point or your your insertion point is okay so in the future if you like to extend it or if you would like to do something then you know you will click here and then you know you can stretch it or do something since it's a block actually just usually it's a moving point um, but but that's 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 that that's the way that you create a block so this is this is just a simple procedure and then this is uh, what uh, a block looks like okay so then the, the next item is um we already selected this you know you can step read step by step and, and then now what it says is like use the window to select the objects and then now you can type li you know li doesn't mean anything um, because it just how many lines it contains or something you know uh, gives you like just this is some information. Um, so okay. It's very slow responding. But anyway, the LI, the LI function normally what it does is it just normally uh, tells you like how many lines it contains, how many arcs it contains, and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, once you have that, um, then the next item that we would like to do is modifying uh, modifying a, a block. Okay, so learn how to modify a block, for instance. Okay, so for instance, in this particular case, 
modifying the bed king block using the block editor option. Uh, so modify it the way you want. Uh, but before that, let's do them something. Let's use um, the m insert function and then let's let's insert uh, a big number of um, that same block that we just created. Okay. So what's going to happen is the following. Like um, what's going to happen is like uh, whenever you have a block, then as I mentioned it earlier, one of the purpose of having a block is like you can insert them like in a multiple times. Like for instance, consider this. Um, now you are working in like let's say in a big kind of a stadium, right? Let's say, and then that stadium has like forty thousand sitting chairs, and then let's assume that like you are you are putting all all those thirty thousand small chairs of CAD files in your drawing. I'm just I'm just saying it. Uh, then now, for instance, you know you look on you you look at those things, and then somebody may come and say like. Um, but I would like to have a modification or a different version of the chair. Like for instance, what if now I want to have on my chair like a cup holder, then what are you going to do? Are you going to go ahead and then like make a change on each of the 30,000 uh, chair drawings? No, not gonna, it's not gonna make sense. So. But blocks, as far as you have them in blocks, you can do that. What you can do is like, you can go to the main block or one, and then you make a modification for that block. Then automatically those 30,000 drawings will adopt that modification. So before we go ahead and then make a modification for our block, now uh, let's try to use the insert function and then like let's insert um, a multiple, multiple blocks. So M insert. So AutoCAD is asking me the name of the block that I'm planning to insert. We already called it Bait King and then we're going to press, um, okay. So the insertion point, as I mentioned it, like, you know, I, we already chose the top uh, middle corner. Then now X factor and inter X factor, we're not going to uh, really uh, um, modify it or anything so keep it as one y factor is the same then now rotation we don't want to rotate it press enter again so the number of rows uh, then how many rows probably you know three rows and the number of columns I'm going to put like 10 of them uh, and then the distance between each of them probably uh, you know the distance from center to center. So in general, like a king bed is about like six feet by about eight feet kind of dimension. No, seven feet, seven by pretty much seven by six and a half. Okay. So um, then the distance between two, two, um, to center to center two beds like from here to the next bed um, should be like more than the dimension of uh, the thing so therefore I'm going to go with I'll say like this is just for practice uh, I'll put like let's say um, nine or ten so that like you know, there will be enough space uh, then specify the number of columns I'm going to go with like uh, the instruction says ten okay that distance, oh, when I typed 10, AutoCAD assumed that is 10 inches. Okay, so again, M insert. Get bing, insertion point, one, one scale factor, rotation zero, number of columns, number of row three, of columns 10 inter distance um, 120 inches okay since I haven't specified distance between the columns again 120 inches okay nice so 120 inches means 10 feet from 
one two and another one you see now all of them they are layer inserted like blocks and then now you have with the multiple insert you, that's what i was trying to mention like if you have thirty thousand uh chairs that you need to put in, in your drawings then what you can do is you can create one and then you just, just simply put them in there okay so this is how you use the insert function to insert them then the next item that we would like to see is like modify the bit and then modify like for instance somebody will come and say like um i want in on those bits like i want you to put in a little side table or something like that or or a small lamp around here um so can you help with that and then uh, what are you going to do are you going to go ahead and then make a modification on the 30 drawings uh no the idea is not going to work well that way i would rather just make a little uh, little side table uh, okay so the then to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this in the block editor okay in the block editor uh, what you can do is like or you can just simply double click on the block then you're going to have your drawing in some kind of uh, grayish background this is what the block the block editor will look like okay so on this then you go ahead and then like make make your modification you know for instance i was as mentioning what if i would like to have um just you know a simple kind of um side table like for instance i'm going to have a side table let's say uh, around here just just a little circle uh, with the radius of like let's say yeah uh, the radius of six inches that is about one feet right in diameter okay so i can have something like that and maybe maybe you know um and probably 12 inches by 12 inches kind of square uh, then you know have this probably uh, move it and bring it by this corner okay and we snap it right there okay so you see like now 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 just i just made a modification for for it like yeah I don't know, if you are interested you can go ahead and then do the same thing on the other side let's say um, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, copy it and uh, and then paste it on this side okay and then you know bring it and snap it there maybe it's a good idea just to move this guy and snap it to the middle oh, it should work I can do the same thing here okay see then you put in like a just a nice uh, side table uh, did I enlarge this mm. I think I should move it with the move function perfect okay then uh, once you do that of course you need to close the block editor um then when you when you close the block editor uh, autocad will ask you a question like would you like to keep it or make modifications then what would you say save the changes okay then you choose that and then click on it then you see you already made a change on this one so when you make the change this with one like 
that change already happened to all the 30 ones that you just created. You have them here, see, that's it. So this is one of the advantages of like having blocks. Like it's just like there are amazing ways like to do things like in a faster way, okay? So then uh, once you do that, like then the next step is going to be uh, the following. Uh, then how can I write this little block in a separate file. So this is this is what is going to happen. So now we already learned how to modify it. Now the second step is like enter the w block command. What does w block command mean? W block command is you are going to write the block. Like for instance, you know you created this block, right? And then if I just simply like close this without saving anything. What's going to happen? I'm going to lose my block. Okay, I'm going to lose everything that I have. Like, so I will be just simply left with that little the initial, the original drawing. Or sometimes, like, if I want to share this block by itself, right? It's it's in here. I created it and in this file. Then, what do I need to do? Do I need to send the whole file? If I send the whole file, all those thirty different drawings will go with with it, right? So therefore. What you need to do is like use the w block function and write this block as a separate file by itself. Okay, so w block so that like you can use it for 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 later. Okay, so w block. Then AutoCAD is asking me like where I want to save the block. Uh, for now, like I have my own folder. Um, you know, I, or I can just leave it like um, for documents, or and then I can can change it later if I want to um, but I have my own folder that says ESC 131 online um, then AutoCAD is asking me to select object I don't need to select any object uh, AutoCAD is asking me if I want to have the entire no if I do the entire then all the 30 bits will go with it I don't want to do that so what's going to happen is like I'm going to use block the block that I already created, which block? This one, the bed block. Okay, the bed king block. And then I'm going to export it, okay? So there can be like a name conflict with the file that I had over there. So um, I'm going to change the place where I'm saving. I'm going to put it on documents, okay? Then I'm going to click on write block and then shoop, it's going to be saved. So when, when you click on write block, then at the same time, try to look around here, especially if you have a Windows file or something, you will see something flashing around here at the same time that shows like you're creating um, the block. Okay, so just you have to pay attention like you know, to see it. Um, then I'm going to say block. Um, and it says like in documents, and of course it is Okay, so now the only way we can verify now we created our block. Our block is saved in in a place where where we wanted it to save. Okay, so now the next item is the following. Then now you created it, so you already have it as a BitKing DWG file. Okay, and uh, please make sure that like this bit BitKing the DWG, this is a block that you created. So I want you to put it in, in a Safari folder than the one, the original file. The original file that I gave you was BitKing. So those two files should be different, okay? So this is a file that you started working at, to start with. Whereas this is like um, a file that you just created as um, as a DWG file, the block file, okay? So, or otherwise you can change the name of this guy first, okay? So that you don't have like two two files with the same names and they are different in purpose. Then then this one, um, the third, the last part is like using your own block. So the following it says like recreate the following diagram, add bedroom, uh, fixtures to the master bedroom, you know, furniture, the inner dimension of this is given, the closet dimension is given, the inner dimension of the bathrooms are given, then now it says 
you may assume 5 inch of wall thickness you need to draw that for bed use the one you just created so now this is a part of a drawing that has a master bedroom master bedroom is like a bedroom that has its own closets and then it has its own bathroom okay so it says like now you have to use the block you just created that's it okay the block that you just created so let's see if we really created a cool block and and then the rest it says like you need to furnish it nicely maybe some people put on a tv set in their bedroom some people they may put in like nice nice some people even put on a bike in their bedroom i don't know why um, then you have a closet maybe you would like to put in um, a closet rack um, and then you need to put in a toilet seat and you need to put in your bathtub and you need to put in a sink you may say like oh my god this small drawing can literally you know just waste all your time trying to recreate it so what are you going to do so the trick is here blocks 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 in your mind keep them all the time so just for simplicity what i did is like i already created the the, the drawing okay then uh, because you know drawing this you have already learned how to draw a floor plan or, or how to draw like some kind of a drawing that is given so our main purpose today is is just like you know how to um, how to use like how to use uh, blocks right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and then create layers okay so uh, then i'll be using like, for instance uh, dimension layers um, and then i'll create another one maybe uh, furnitures a fern uh, and then maybe i may may add like you know appliances a okay and then of course different colors appliances uh, you can put in red dimensions maybe yellow uh, furnitures maybe i'll go with gray okay uh, not going to use this this the other the other layers they came from um, another drawing uh, i'll come to that in a moment then the idea is like can i use the, the bed that I just created. So the first step you will do is like draw this. Once you draw that, like then I'm going to insert my block. Then how do I go with that? Like you can go ahead and then like click insert here. Okay. So if I click insert, you know, then I need to browse the block that I have. Where did I save that my block? It was in documents, if you remember. And that was like binking. Remember? Then I'm going to say open. There I have it. Wonderful. Then I'm going to bring it and then put it in my bedroom. It's, this is huge. And I'm going to put it as, like that. Okay. So since I created it like with a zero layer, now as soon as it comes, I want it make I want to make it adopt my furniture layer. Voila, that's it. That's cool. You see, that's how you do it. Like you create a block and then you use, reuse, reuse that block. You give it, pass it to your friends, you give it to your company's people and you will be still be using it so nicely. Okay. All right. Then this is how you use blocks. Okay. So now you may say like, oh, professor, but how about like the bathroom, the bathtubs, the sinks? What am I going to do? Am I going to break? I'm going to. What am I going to do? Am I going to draw them? Hmm. No, don't do it. Here is the trick that I'm going to teach you. So, in a window, in a Windows AutoCAD, there is something we call it like Add Center. So, if you have a Windows computer, type Add Center and then there. There is like a home planner and a home designer folders. And then inside those folders, there are blocks, all sorts of blocks that you need. You will find beds, you will find bathtubs, you will find kitchen appliances, you will find everything that you need. 
unfortunately for AutoCAD, mm, you don't have them. I mean, for Mac computers, you don't have Ad Center. So what do we do? We're not going to lie down and then complain about it. We're going to find a way to do it. So uh, what you're going, what you can do is um, so go online, Google for for AutoCAD blocks. Okay, then this is one of the one of the places where I usually go to to get my um, to get my blocks. It says cadblocks.net. Okay, you go there, you download your stuff. Okay, so you know they have bathroom files, for instance. So I can go ahead and then like, you know, download, uh, download like uh, my, my things like here, for instance, you know, it's a, uh, so uh, I can do that. I can, so I can click on it. So what I need here is a bathtub, a sink and so on and so forth. So uh, since I need a bathtub, I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and then download this file. Okay, because I need them. Those are bus stops. Go back. What else do I need? Probably sinks. Then I need them. Then I'm going to come and then like download them. Okay. What else do I need? Mm. So, I don't know what else you want, like in your. So, if you if you want to add more stuff, of course there are more stuff there. Um, like for for instance, for your for your midterm project, like you will, I'm sure you will be looking for, you know, nice bed blocks. You can have, you know blocks bed blocks like with with rugs and everything to make it a lot more beautiful uh, i don't mind um, maybe you may need sofas and then like you will go on sofas and that's where you find them and of course you will need those things for your uh what do you call for your uh, for your kitchen or, or dining area then you know you will do that and uh, so anyway, this is a nice place to come and get your thing. So probably I may need, may need a small, a small sofa for my, for my bedroom. So I'll, I'll also download that. Um, okay. Then, then what do I do? Of course, I'm going to uh, go ahead and then, of course, unzip those files. Uh, those are the baddest. Uh, And in the sinks, and then of course the chairs, and so on and so forth. You know, it's a it's a little trick that you will you 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 need to use. You know, sometimes it's <laughs> you can you, you can get like stuff you want um, by you know trying to uh, get things around. Uh, it's all about like you know having things uh, then so um, what do I need so for instance I'm going to come and open them um, you can add them like as blocks and things like that but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and then like you know open those things okay so the bases uh, the sink and then some of the chairs I already have the bed then I don't need one then I'm going to say OK and then open. All right. So, uh, you know, for instance, I can have an armchair um, drawing. And look, something I want you to pay attention here. I'm going to copy this. I'll just simply use Control C. And then I'll go to my staff and then I'm going to say, like, Click it here, and I will show you what's going to happen. I'm going to have my chair right here. Oh my God! Look at my chair. How big that can it be? 
don't worry. You know why? Because the blocks, especially from that website, they are created in millimeters. But now you are working on a project here in the United States where most of the stuff is by default in inches and feet. So how am I going to change this guy to fit in my drawing? So the trick is simply you go ahead and scale it. So there is a function we call it scale. And then you selected your object and then it says like select your base point. It's fine, you know, around here I'm going to select my base point. And then do you want to make it smaller or bigger? So here is the conversion factor. The conversion factor is like for one inch, you get 25.4 millimeters right so therefore take your calculator divide one by 25.4 to be precise then that's going to give you 0 0.0393 approximately but you know that that's like three decimal places should be now so therefore i'm going to type 0 0.0933 sorry three nine three that's the scale factor to convert in millimeters to inches so therefore i'm going to press enter autocad will do the job for me it's a very smart software then it can do its stuff then after that like i can move it and then bring it you know i will just maybe i'll put it right here i don't i don't want to have tvs in my my bedroom rather I would like to have a chair just to sit and read <laughs> I'm just kidding you can put whatever you want um, then uh, maybe I'll rotate this guy um, rotate by 90 degree um, I don't know I can put it like that then I'll put it on my furniture layer again okay so n now you get you get the trick right I mean, you, now you know, like, the, now you can bring in and then put your, your, your bad, bad step in here. I'm going to repeat this same procedure, like, for, uh, for, uh, for the other one, like, for, for the sink, for instance, like, um, you choose one of the things, I don't know. Maybe you can choose this. Uh, and then, and then copy, control C, and then take it to your drawing. And then uh, you want to have it here, uh, but the thing is, it's too big. Then again, you will use the scale factor of uh, base point is uh, fine. I can use the midpoint of this and 0 0.09, uh, rather 393. There I have the sink. Then I'll grab that sink and then move it and bring it to the bathroom okay so how is it located in our project for instance it's it's by here okay so by the corner right by the corner so it's here i'm going to rotate it um, rotate it like that um, Okay, and then of course I'm going to move it. Mm -hmm. Right? See? Now this is an appliance, then I'm going to put it on on appliance layer. Cool, right? So one more, one last. I'm going to put in like the bad. There are so many ways of those ones but I, I'll, I'll go with the one that is most likely is a standard maybe you know five five feet by five feet by 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 eight feet that's that's one of the standard so I'm going to copy this I'll come here I'll paste it it's okay right here and then and then of course uh, scale it Select my object, uh, base point is this guy, and I'll use 0 
0.0393 that's my conversion factor and then I'm going to bring in all this and then bring it and snap it here then of course I'm going to rotate uh, I'm going to rotate this guy rotate oh come on Uh, my my room seems like a little smaller but So it's, it's, it's okay. This is mostly because of. Um, then you put it on a plans layer. Okay. So you proceed that way. Uh, so you know this room was supposed to be eight, but maybe it was a type or something. Control D. Just okay. So you fit it in in your room in your bath bathroom. Uh, so. You, do that way so ah oh, you see then don't forget to dimension your your thing because uh, now you already know how to dimension things uh, I already created the dimension layer so so yeah go ahead and then make sure that like you dimension it nicely the way we learn it how to dimension things perfect sounds good so you proceed that way um, Thank you very much. I hope you learned something great today.